Hey, what's going on YouTube? As you can tell, I'm uh, sweating a lot. Uh, I wanted to try out uh, the spot well drill bits before I actually started recording uh, because if it wasn't going to work, then I didn't want to waste my time. So uh, I'm going to show you where I stand right now and we're going to get back to work and see if we can get some more of these up. It's a very slow, tedious process as uh, somebody commented on one of my other videos. Um, but uh, we're going to keep going and we're going to be careful and try to get it up as clean as possible to lay down the new floorboard. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so here's where I stand with the, the weld so far. So I've already got the floor plan started. So we're making good progress. Uh, we just got to look for, and I've been grinding uh, using my wire wheel uh, grinder. And we're going to look for these little spot welds to drill out. And be careful we're not drilling too thick, too far. Oops. And uh, yep, we go around. I have an issue. All right, so it's been a pain in the butt. Uh, this thing's kind of a little, a little bent, but we're gonna keep going. Hard to tell when you've gone deep enough, so we're just gonna hopefully get there and then use a hammer to get it in the crowbar to get it out. So we're making some very slow progress on the driver's side. I gotta be careful. I can't work at night because my kids sleep and apparently I've been waking them up. So I had to, I had to pull the plug on that. Uh, but here's where we are. As you can see, we're making good progress. We're starting to get it up off the actual frame. Uh, slowly, slowly, slowly. But it's a lot of banging, so it makes a lot of noise and I've had to put it on hold. So what we're gonna do here on this side for now, uh, the grinder's not as bad, uh, but I'm gonna take down the uh, wire wheel and we're gonna see if this back half of this floor pan can be saved. It looks like a lot of, uh, I mean, there's a lot of corrosion here. However, I'm not going straight through with anything, so I think I might actually be able to save part of this and just POR it, but we'll see. I'm not gonna hold my breath. But let's uh, start busting it down with the wire wheel. Yeah, so I completely screwed that up. Here I am, my goofy, 1970s safety glasses, um, but uh, I was I, what I did was I grinded down the passenger side because I already cut out most of the driver side. I want to see how bad the damage is on the passenger side, see how, what I have to do. And after looking at it, considering just saving the back portion, cutting the pan I have, and just doing the front, um, it's. Right here is pretty bad. Obviously, there's a big hole, big hole there. But right, I mean, and back here, the worst part's right here. But like, I can't even deflect it with my thumb. So, I mean, I grinded it down. It all seems pretty solid. This is the part I'm most worried about. I mean, it's got some, some pitting, but like, it's pretty solid still. I mean, tell me what you guys think. Uh, should I do the whole pan, or should I just do the? Can I? Should I do the front? It looks. I mean, I'm kind of. I'm seriously considering just doing the front. Um, Save myself a little bit of work, and I'm actually super nervous about 
the cutting over here due to the uh, fuel lines underneath. Um, I'm going to be as careful as I can. I want, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to be careful. All right, so as you can see, we're going to continue to keep cutting it. And, uh, I'm sorry, uh, drilling the spot welds, peeling back. And I, in order to clear up some space, we use the, angle, we use the cutting wheel to uh, clear some of it out of there. All I could find was my wife's here pro, so uh, got pink on, but uh, we're going to clean it up, and um, yeah, we're going to clean it up, see what we got, and I think I might be done. Uh, we'll cut out the section to weld on the end there. Uh, it's not super pretty at the end, but I think I got the rust out. Uh, I might use some tin snips to clean it up a little more, but yeah, we're going to take the uh, wire brush and uh, scrub her down and get it prepped for welding. So I'm gonna try and talk over my AC. It's the uh, only thing keeping me alive in here. It's heat index over 100. So uh, we got the floor pan out, and I cleaned it up with the wire wheel. Uh, the end piece, a uh, little, might be a little more. I need to cut out with some tin snips, um, but I think I'm happy with for the most part how it is. I'm gonna show you guys. We got it all out. There's some areas where I, I definitely went a little too far, uh, which I have to fill in with uh, some material. Um, but you know, we grind it down with the wire wheel uh, all the way to the end. I'm gonna have to get some snips and clean this up a bit. Um, my plan didn't go so great, so I need to uh, I need to clip that at the end, clean it up. But um, for the most part, it's out, and I'm gonna lay the new one in here just to see what it's gonna look like and see where I have to cut because I'm positive I'm gonna have to cut a few spots, especially at the end, and uh, this guy to make room for the seatbelt parts. So uh, this this. Here's my, uh, here's my pan. I also have to cut the holes for the seats. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab the seats, lay it on top, mark the holes just so it's ready. All right? So it's not watching. As you saw, we got the floor pan out finally. Um, in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and try and see if we can test fit the new floor pan. And if we have time, we'll get the new seats out and uh, put them on top of the pan and go ahead and trace out the holes to drill for the seat brackets. Uh, but yep, I'm very excited, making progress. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to follow more of uh, Project Bobby B. That well, battery's dying already. In the 24 volt in there, that thing was ripping. About to have an out front cookout. <laughs>